friends, today we are going to be doing a pineapple drawing inspired by my art teacher friend Mr. Skulton and he challenged his artist to make a really cool cartoon pineapple. So I'm going to challenge the same thing to you. So I'm going to show you the directions that I learned from him about how you can make a pineapple kind of look 3D and also add a silly face. Today you'll need some sort of paper, um, it can totally change depending on size of what you'd like to use. I'm going to be using colored pencils to color, but again, be that inventive artist and use something that is around you like markers or crayons or oil pastels or anything you'd like to try. Then I'll be using a black sharpie marker to outline a pencil and an eraser to kind of get started with my drawing and then I'll go from there. But of course we are going to start with our mantra so we can be super strong and ready for our art lesson today. So say with me, here we go. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing, I am an artist. Okay, let's make our silly, awesome pineapple. All right, artist friends, today we're going to be making our pineapple the tall way on our paper because pineapples are very tall. And we wanna make sure we fill our entire paper as much as we can. So we're gonna start with a simple shape here and I'll be using pencil at the beginning, but I'm gonna make kind of like a long oval. Then I'll leave a little bit of space, kind of a super light ghost or a whisper draw of another oval on the inside so that I leave that a little bit blank as I leave space for the face. Then I'm going to make some up and down lines. These are going to be my vertical lines that help me map out where that rough texture will be on the outside of my pineapple. And then I'm going to do my lines that come across the other way, horizontal lines. So for a little while, your pineapple will kind of look like a checkerboard. Then we're going to add another detail on the inside that actually makes our pineapple, these little kind of scales on the outside, look like they're popping out at you. So to do that, we're going to now make diagonal lines through our squares and come down to the corner. So I'm going through all of these in the same direction. Gotta find it through that little oval. Here we go, finding this one and going all the way through until I get to, whoops, till I get to the bottom. Then I'm gonna do the same thing the other way so that I've got X's in each of my squares. So that will be a special trick to help make my pineapple scales sort of look like they're popping out at me. And it's a way for me to practice making something look three dimensional or like it's a coming off of my page. So I'm gonna go up to the top there. Last one right here, maybe one little guy down there too. And then I've got my scales drawn on my pineapple outside edge. The last part for the scales is just to make a little bit more of a wiggly edge because as you can tell, a pineapple is not smooth and round like an oval, but it has more of a rough edge. So I can make kind of a wavy line each time I hit one of those squares. I'm gonna pop out of my page a little bit more and then whoop, come back up to the top. If you wanna make your pineapple flat at the bottom as if it were sitting on a piece of, um, like sitting on a tabletop, you totally can, but I'm gonna keep mine kind of rough. Now, the last part before we do the face is to make the stem or the little hairdo of our pineapple. So that one we're going to make five lines first. One coming out the top, one coming to the side, kind of like a big long arrow shape or the beginning of a triangle, and then four and five. Then I'm going to trace around those like a leaf shape. So I come around like a little football on one side and around on the other. Again, around and around. And I'm gonna finish that for each of my pineapple's leaves. Then I want to make my pineapple look a little bit more three-dimensional, so I'm gonna do another layer of leaves in these little windows. So here's a little leaf I can pop in, another one here, another one here. We can get crazy with it and keep adding more because usually there are a lot of leaves that pop out from a pineapple. Okay, last step is to make the face of your pineapple. So for that one, I'm going to do two big, huge, goofy eyes like this. And then I always like to make my eyes have a little bit of character with some highlights in them. And highlights make the eyes look a little bit more lively than just a black circle in the middle. So I'm gonna make a big, huge circle on the inside, kind of facing one side. So this part looks like a little crescent moon. Then I'll make a big highlight and a little highlight, a big highlight and a little highlight. Then when I color it in, this part is going to be the black part of the pupil of the eye. These will be the highlights, and this will be the white part of the eye. Then the last thing I need is a silly little smile. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do a wiggly smile. Like he's kind of nervous. And then put the little edges on and I'm good. 
You can add a silly nose, you can add a little mustache, maybe, oh, should I put a little tongue? <gasps> I'm gonna put some teeth in there. Yes, he's like a vampire pineapple. Maybe he's dripping pineapple juice. I love it. And after you finish the face, now we're going to do some quick trace and erase. So after you've drawn your pineapple, grab a black Sharpie or a black marker and trace over the top of all of your pencil lines. My pineapple got super sunny at the end, but what we're going to do next is start to color. So I'm going to pick some green for the stems of my pineapple or this little um, leafy bit at the top, and I'm going to pick a light green and a dark green. Then I'm going to press hard with my colored pencil to try to fill in my space so I have no white space showing. And on one side, I'm going to do a light color, and on the other, I'm going to do a dark color. This gives the illusion that your leaf is a little bit more three-dimensional than if you just colored all the same color. So I'm gonna finish up coloring my leaves first. After the stem of your pineapple is colored, now you can move on to the outside. And for this, I'm gonna show you a special trick from Mr. Skulton where he told us about how we can make something look like it's popping off of our page. And for that, you'll actually need four colors for the outside edge. So we're gonna start with the darkest brown, then a tan, and then kind of more of a yellow orange. And finally at the end, we'll do yellow over the top of everything in the background. So when we look at one of these squares, there are four triangles, one, two, three, four. We're going to go in the bottom with kind of a light brown in each of these four triangles. Okay, so I'm gonna move over to the next square and do the bottom one, the next square and do the bottom one and keep filling it in until I have all of the bottom center triangles having kind of a brown. Now, when you get to the face, you'll see here how it starts to fade. So you don't really need to do much in there. I might do like a gentle whisper, but that's gonna become sort of the face of my pineapple anyway. So it might just be more of like a yellow. So I'm gonna finish doing the, the rest of my brown and fill that part in. Then I'm going to go to the right and do this one as kind of like a light tan. Now for this coloring, you'll really need to do just more of a whisper instead of super hard pressure coloring because we're going to do some yellow at the end of everything. And we don't want our colored pencils to be down too dark on our paper. So now I'm gonna do all of the right and I would finish that part down. And then finally, on um, the left, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go over here for a little shininess. I'm gonna keep going around the outside and keep going lighter. So it's dark, medium, light. And then we'll do yellow at the end. So I go around the outside and I'm gonna leave my fourth triangle blank because that's going to end up being my yellow of my pineapple. So I'm gonna finish this step first and do my dark brown, my tan, my yellow orange. As long as they're next to each other in that order, it doesn't really matter where you start. You could do dark brown here and then tan there and then red, yellow orange there. It's really up to you. You get to decide as the artist. So do that little whisper and finish coloring those three triangles out of your pineapple. This is the part where now I need you to use your art muscles and color very dark and bold over the top of everything except for the places that you'd like to keep white, like the eyes or if you made some teeth or something like that. So I'm gonna cover now over the top of my entire pineapple um, scales on the outside here and that's going to help give me that kind of illusion. <gasps> I noticed that I missed a green. I'll have to fill that in too. But that'll give you the little illusion that your pineapple scales are a little a little bit more three-dimensional than instead of just a flat piece of paper. So I'm going to finish coloring the rest of this yellow so you can see what it looks like all colored in. My yellow colored pencil almost ran out at the very end. Now you can decorate the background however you like. I think I'm going to make my pineapple at a little party. So maybe it has some confetti or it has, some, they kind of look like donut sprinkles. Maybe it has some patterns in the background. You decide as the artist where you would like your pineapple to live. So I'm gonna finish decorating the background and that's it. finished my vampire party pineapple dripping pineapple juice creation. <laughs>
Thanks, Mr. Skulton, for the idea. I love sharing this with you, my friends, because you get to practice making something look a little bit 3D. It's a fun little trick. Now, we are, of course, going to end with a little bit of a meditation so we can be strong and ready for the rest of our day. And for this one, we're going to draw the top of our pineapple spike out. It goes up and comes back down with our breath. So it'll go like this. Okay, and then again, and we'll do three of those so that we've got three deep breaths that are ready for us to be strong for the rest of the day. Here we go. All right, thinking about keeping your breath slow and kind of making sure that you're not letting it all out at the same time. You have to follow along with that breath. So my friends, remember, you are amazing. You are strong. You are resilient. And I love you. I will see you next time.